agency if we did assessments of opportunity about trying to streamline and make sure that we are uh, not adding in additional uh, handout for us. I think we are very conscious that the emergency duty team for adult services is actually quite, is, is different to the requirements for children's services and we need to reflect that in whatever model it is that we, we come forward with. Very conscious of that. In terms of the um, looked after children and costs and packages of care, we have a significant budget reduction which is looking at um, over a period of time, and I'm, I'm looking at Julia here for some of the detail, but that's very much around, if you recall, Julia's wonky triangle and, and the pyramid of need, but how do we ensure that, that children don't get sucked into the system um, too quickly, and we need to make sure that the, the role of the university and the targeted services is about supporting those children and families in the right place at the right time, so that they get the appropriate levels of support, so that they don't get pushed into the system too quickly and unnecessarily. Um, so um, we, are, we are starting to see, in terms of the changes that we've made to children's services, <coughs> the numbers of children who are in need of the child protection Thank you. 
to rush through things at a time when people are becoming increasingly uh, Yeah, just a, a point which occurred to me in relation to what seems to be the consensus and, and, and the preference for workshop working, if you like. I, I'd be concerned that we, we ensure that you know, those types of meetings or workshops are accessible to the public, perhaps, and there's, there's built in accountability there. I would be concerned if they were that on the first Okay, thank you very much.
Working together at full integration with the NHS, we are currently in a situation where we've now organised our teams uh, with the NHS partners and the time the teams primarily around constituents that exist in the teams. And we do what we can with that in terms of the quality of the model. We also have Transform is a big business we mentioned before. The logic is a practitioner based system. The idea is that the logic is very much to look at the institution as well. And that helps us efficiency. It's also going to help us efficiency. Also, payments we can make for the cloud is charging for the cloud. It's a critical part of the cloud. There's a work stream around ensuring that people are appropriately informed about our social care and our NHS. So um, that's a very interesting to ensure that our models and assessments are appropriate to their needs and um, that um, where people should be getting the systems and that are getting the systems and also where they should be getting the systems and that they are 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 getting the Finally, uh, managing the money. Uh, we have been looking at the charges process, process, system development, consultation with the people. Um, we have had a historic approach which has meant that we tended to charge all the people who have been in charge of the people with disabilities. There have been some real consultants. Clearly, there is an issue about maximising.